Welcome back to C Programming Skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. This is going to be a tour of Replit.com. So first step is to enter Replit.com in your browser. And the very first time you do it, it will look like this. Uh, the thing you should notice is you want to first sign up. So click on sign up and you can create an account. There's no charge. You can create an account for this and that will get you started. So do that first. Create an account and all your work will be saved uh, under your account name uh, and that will get you started. Now once you log on you'll see depending on the the opening screen it will look different ways but regardless of how it looks here at the front look for the plus sign this plus or down here where it says create but I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over here and click on plus uh, basically we're going to start a new project so I'll come over here and click on that so the idea and it's pretty amazing there are all these languages all these languages you can learn using this particular interface it's very very cool we're going to use C so for this course focus on the C programming language and when you do that notice it will come up with a default name and you can certainly use that as your default name for my purpose I'm going to call this so I'm going to call mine C programming skills using Replit and I'll say this is the uh, Replit how about intro this will be our first look at, at using it uh, notice by default it's public so anyone can can look at it and we'll go ahead and click on create now once you do that I want you to notice you've got three areas of the screen here on the left is your list of files here in the middle is the current file that you're working on in this case we just have a single file main.c and of course here's the contents of that and then over here is your output area often called the console this is where when you run your code you can see the output in the console in fact we can come up here and click on run and when we click on run what happens is some commands are run on the console and we see the output of our program. It actually ran right then, so you can, can view the output. In fact, you just ran your first C program. <laughs> so this is some default code that the system generates for us, and we'll actually cover this a little later. But right now, don't worry about it, just the, the default code. And you edit the code here, you click on Run, your code is uh, built, it gets built, and then it gets run right here. In fact, if you come over here on line number four, where it says print hello world, let's put our cursor here and say hello world from C. Uh, so we'll learn a little later, this is a, a string text that a human can read. And so we've changed that, we click on run, and notice now it says hello world from C. So we got some new output just like that. So this is a, a great way to start uh, in any language. Step one is to know how to create hello world. And you did that here. You actually created hello world and we got it uh, to run. We actually modified it, clicked on run and it, it came here. There's a lot more to say about it, but for right now, this is your first step, knowing you have your list of files over here. The file will be editing here in the middle and our output on this side. All right, well, thank you for making it this far. There is much more to come in the next video. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.